Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. My name is Brian, and today I've got a little laser cutter experiment. I don't have a lot of time at the moment to put out videos because of college, but I've got a 3D print on the printer as, as I'm talking right now. It'll be up in a few weeks. But for this experiment with the laser, I wanna see if I can make toast on the laser cutter. It's very random. I think a few people have done it, not quite sure. But I wanna see if I can engrave something on this, turning it into toast. Let's see what happens. As just pop this open, set the bread in the middle, turn it on, head over to the computer. This test will be very simple. Got the dog here helping. So I'm just gonna go on Google and search toaster because I think it'd be funny to engrave a toaster on toast. Just gonna look around, find a picture of a toaster. I'm gonna use this picture of a toaster. Okay, just stuck the, the JPEG into the Glowboard software. Just size it to about right. And for settings, so I'm gonna go to, let's go to a manual engrave. I'm gonna vary the power. I think I'm gonna turn up the lines branch a little bit. And I know that from experience that engraving things with water content in them needs a higher power. So I'm gonna go full power and then I'm gonna slow it down to let's say 500. I'm just completely guessing on the settings here. I think that should be good. Uncertified material, it's about half an inch thick. All right, let's get the sizing a little bit better. Okay, let's see what happens. 27 minutes for a piece of toast. Not sure if this is the most efficient way to do this. What do you think, dog? Hey, Carbon. Yeah, he doesn't care. Okay, I got my bread set. Laser's ready to go. And because it's dark outside, I don't need to worry about glare as much. So, start and start. Let's see what happens. Definitely toast. I think I had the power a little too high. You can kind of see through it, but you can kind of see the shape. Yeah, maybe I'll try one more. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more and turn the speed up a little bit. See if I can get it to actually be more recognizable. Okay, take two. Piece of bread in. I'm gonna go adjust the settings. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna turn the lines per inch back down. And then I'm gonna turn up speed to 700. That seems about right. And then readjust. There it is. Bread's a little crooked. There we go. Let's see what happens. Take two. All right, take two. Got the bread and the laser. Got the time lapse ready. Time lapse. Laser go.
got the two toasts for the first one. Kind of got a hole in there. Second one, power turned down. It looks pretty good. Okay, unfortunately it doesn't really taste very good because something in the laser got into it and it tastes a little funny. Hope you enjoyed that little experiment. I'm working on a, another video right now. Here's a little practice piece of 3D print. I'm working on finishing. This video should be out in a few weeks maybe. I'm also working on real, my coolest project I've ever done in my entire life. It'll be out in maybe a month or two, maybe a little longer, it's taking a while. I've been work, I've been, I had this idea for years. I've been working on it for the past two months. Here's a hint. Let me know if you think you know what it is. I don't know, thank you guess. Well, I'm not putting up videos super often, you can follow me on Instagram at Into the Wood Shop. I put, try and post pretty often on stories of little things I'm making. CNC machining is what I've been posting a lot of recently. So I hope you enjoyed this little experiment. If there are any other things that you want me to try and engrave on my laser, put them in the comments. I might try and engrave something else. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.